Hey guys, so about four months ago, I got my industrial pierced and oh boy, what a long road it's been since then. So if you wanna hear my story about the pain, convincing my parents, how it migrated, how I had to take it out, all that jazz, keep on watching. Alright guys, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna try to film it. Sorry if it looks bad, I'll try to lighten it up. I'm in front of my pool with my flamingo, so it looks pretty lit. Okay, so I'm 17, so I do need my parents' permission to sign off when I get to the tattoo parlor or wherever you're going, because I live in New York, so you have to be 18. So I talked to my parents, I was very clearly like, I've looked it up, I understand what the risks are, I, I'm very excited and I really want this piercing, and with your parents, just be honest with them, and they'll be like, okay, I think that's pretty, pretty good. So yeah, that's how that went. It went pretty well, I think. Okay, so the day comes, March 24th. I'm terrified, I'm excited. The whole ordeal, right? Like, I'll insert some clips, but I was terrified for the pain, but I was excited for the piercing. No, I don't have perfect I do on the other ear. Okay, so you remember how that felt? It was all warm. And yeah. Okay, so you were okay with that? Yeah. Okay. I was terrified for the pain, but I was excited for the piercing. So I picked out my bar. They can, they'll give you a ton of different ones. You can have like cheetah print, which, I mean, <laughs> you do you, but, oof. And they have like a bunch of different designs. I went with the regular, like just like the plain bar. And I went and I was kind of like terrified because the whole place was like very intimidating. And I get there and they were very nice and everything. and. The lady marked up my ear and then it was all done right i finally had it in it was probably i would say it was the most painful piercing i've ever had but i've only had my first second hole in my cartilage so i mean that's to be expected so it was pretty painful um i mean i've had kidney stones so it's not as painful as that i would probably rate it like a seven and a half i guess on a scale of one to kidney stone so <laughs> it wasn't that bad i got it pierced and it was pretty great. I mean, I don't know why I remember the exact date. It was March 24th. It was an interesting day. Um, it was really rough for the first couple weeks. I couldn't sleep on that side. And it was really painful even to just like graze and all that jazz. All right, guys, I'm sorry. It's getting super dark, but bear with me. I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to tell the end of my story. So. Anyways, so, yeah, I got a pierce the first couple weeks, it was really painful, at, to be expected. Um, we couldn't lay on it, you couldn't touch it. Um, I would say after about a month, I was getting more comfortable with it, I could twist it around. Um, I was really getting comfortable with it, and I really liked how it looked. And it looked nice and healed, I would say after about two weeks, like, the redness went down, and there wasn't, like, any bubbles or scars or anything. About, like, two months in, two and a half months in, maybe, I started getting, like, they're called keloids. Insert picture here. And, yeah, it was just getting, like, really gross, and I had to keep cleaning it out and cleaning it out, even though they said you only have to clean it out for a week. So I had to keep, like, cleaning it and twisting it, and it was getting really painful, and it's getting a lot to take care of. Here. But it started migrating, so it started, like, moving from its original piercing hole. And I noticed it coming out. I took um, progression photos, insert here. So it started migrating, so that was like, first of all, it was very painful. Second of all, it would tug, since the bottom hole was migrating, it would tug on the top hole, so that the top hole would be so much more painful than it should have been. And so that was like such a pain. And I didn't want to lose the top hole because the top hole didn't migrate at all. But I didn't have anything to put in it because it's 14 gauge. And regular earrings are like a lot smaller than that, so 
and I have anything to put in it. But luckily, my sister Renee has her belly button pierced. Renee has belly button rings, which are 14 gauge, so I put that in my ear. That's what I have there now. So that's up. It's kind of weird. Like, it's the right gauge, but it's also curved, so it's definitely not the best thing for my ear. But at this point, I'm just glad I get to keep the top hole. So maybe someday I get to re-pierce the bottom. I don't know if that's even possible. I have a little divot in my ear. I'll post, I'll put close-up pictures here, but. I was really disappointed when it rejected because I thought it was so, so pretty. And I love industrial so much and I was just really disappointed. So maybe someday I'll be able to re-pierce it. I don't know. Um, I hope the scar goes away. It's been about a week since I took it out. Um, the top's still been a little painful, but I can touch it and everything. So, yeah. Overall, I would say, if you want it done, get it. Great. Um, do a little bit of research into, like, sensitive skin. I mean, if you have sensitive skin like me, I, I know I should have done more research into what type of metal would have been the best, like, titanium versus stainless steel versus just, like, a metal bar. I don't know. It probably would have been better if I did a little research into it. I was just so, like geared up to get it I was just like yeah let's get it let's get it so but if you want to get it get it it's such a beautiful piercing and it really adds to your look like if you want to look a little edgy or if you want to add like a pop of color if you can get different types of bars so it's definitely I would definitely recommend it although it didn't work out for me I'm sure it'd work out for many of you and if you're thinking about getting it just do it you only live once am I right yeah I'm right so yeah I would Overall, I would recommend it, but if you have sensitive skin like me, I would think about it for a little longer. Maybe see what kind of different metals you can get. All right, everybody, that is my industrial experience. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry the lighting's a little weird. It got really dark really fast. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. Um, we really appreciate it. We're at 572 subscribers right now, I think, and that is just crazy to me. I don't even, I talk to maybe like three people on a daily basis, so that's crazy to me that so many people would actually want to watch our videos. So thank you guys so much, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and I'm wearing my Everyday Bro shirt. When I say Everyday Bro, it's because I wear it in like literally every video we film, so. Yeah, and sorry if my hair's a little crazy, and I have a sunburn. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna stop talking. All right, bye everyone.